So see, this all are the functional area, and every functional area has domains, different different domains, okay, for which we can give them the security access. For an example, let me show you any specific domain that you might have. Any domain that let me see. Let me do one thing. Performance. See, related to performance. Okay, mm -hmm. we have functional area, and this functional area has this many domains. And for everything, we can set up the security. Like who can check and who can do what. Okay, okay. like development plan. Okay. Employee goals. Here, self service is nothing but as an employee. Okay, like mm -hmm. everyone can do it. So for that, we have to define like self service. Like who all person who all can do. Like for the setup calibration. Like for an example, if you are not a setup goals. Okay, we'll open this because this is the one that we were doing, and from where you were having some security issue. I will open this domain, and I will see. the domain policy like who all can access this so see this all are the security groups see here you can see implementer they can view they can modify talent administrator so this all security group people can do like whatever uh, you were showing that you were not able to do so i am not mm -hmm. sure regarding the setup or the access that you have usually uh, the implementer should have the access but in your case as you are not able to have access so you can go and check here so from here you will be able to do so if in case if you want to add any access but i won't suggest in the implementation as this is your client's one it's better you should not change it and this is how we can add any security group like in implementer's case okay like this is the practice and so there are so many that the people have created it okay so we can add the implementers if we want to give only view access we'll click on view if we want to give modify access we'll just click on both and after that we have to activate the policy and one more thing that you can check like what are all the things that is secured using this domain security policy so you can see it from here like configure goal template so if you are able not able to see this option or if you are only able to see so it means mm -hmm. you have only view access you do not have modify access to access all this task okay and the reports that you can see like this is a report okay so you should have the access if you do not have the access you will not be able to see anything so if you have access then only you will be able to uh, configure all these items or else you will not be able to do it hmm. and one more thing that i want to tell you i am not sure whether so whenever we make any change in the security policy for an example i have added this okay i was not able to show you the alert that was populating here okay let me rotate so for an example existing can only change it whenever you add anything hmm. okay or whenever you remove anything whenever you make any changes it gives an alert activate your security policy changes using the activate pending security policy changes task 
and update the security evaluation movement. So what this says is, if you are making any changes, okay, mm-hmm. in the security policy, if you just update it here, okay, it will not get effective. That you have to activate pending security policy. Okay, this is the task where you have to go. You have to define the comment, whatever you want. I am just testing right now. See, setup goals. This is the user because this is the one I am using. I have to confirm, like, okay, as this is related to security, this get cross verified, cross check. There is a two stages that they have set up to get the changes effective. And once I activate the security policy changes, then the changes will get effective. 